Hello and welcome to Yota's Kitchen. Today I'm making horta. Horta are basically dandelions. Um, and I am going to boil them, but I cleaned them first. So I took all the bottoms off and then I took anything out of the bunches. I had two bunches that were browned. Let's say the leaves were brown or uh, there were some rotten pieces in there. So basically that happens because, you know, at the grocery store they spray that water on them, that solution, and then they just sit there until somebody buys them. And whatever is on the outside drips off, whatever's on the inside causes rot. So make sure that you take off anything that's wilted, that's brown, and all the end pieces of each one uh, because they're usually darkened like that one. So I will be back. Um, I'm going to rinse them off and then I'm going to put them in a pot of boiling water which I have it already started and then uh, when I'm ready for the next step I will come back and I will show you that end result. Thank you for watching Yota's Kitchen. Hello and welcome to Yota's Kitchen. My water starting to boil so I am going to put a little salt in there and I'm going to stir it up. All I have with me is a little knife that works. And then I am going to just put in my horta, which I rinsed off and I have sitting in some cold water. That's all you have to do basically. And these were two bunches of dandelion leaves. You can get that at your supermarket. Uh, if you've never had dandelion before, they're a little bitter in taste. Uh, my yaya used to uh, pick them. We used to go um, under the skinus. So the skinus were in season. So that was probably around this time of year, July. And we would cut the dandelions, um, not from all places, because we wanted to make sure that there were no animal feces or anything on them. But you can probably pick them in your yard as long as you're not using any chemicals on your lawn or you don't have any animals urinating urinating on them but the sure bet is just go buy them from the store so you don't have to worry about it but uh, people also eat dandelion um, roots um, I think they make them into some sort of wine or something not wine but some sort of alcoholic drink so I'm gonna let this uh, cook probably a few minutes, probably five minutes. I'll check the tenderness of it. It doesn't really take long to cook them. And then I'm going to take them, drain them, and then get them ready. I'm going to reserve some of this water because I want them in the horta. Okay, I'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you. Hello and welcome to Yota's Kitchen. So I cooked my horta. They cooked for about five to ten minutes, somewhere in between there. They're ready to be taken out of the water, so I'm just using some tongs and just putting them in a bowl. So I didn't cut them, I left them whole. And the reason for that is because when you're twirling them in with your fork, you want to be able to twirl them like macaroni and you'll get a nice piece with some olive oil and some lemon juice. Uh, they're wonderful. Mmm, they're so good. So, you want to make sure that you ch check them, make sure they're cooked, um, because we all are going to cook at different um, temperatures. Okay, I'll get the rest later. Um, so, what I do is I just take out about a half a cup of juice from there to put in over my horta. So here it is. I am going to then put a little salt on them even though I salted the water. And look, this was two bunches, right? This was two bunches of horta and look at how much they really come, you know, like wilted down to nothing almost. So just turn them salt them on the other side. I have a half a cup of olive oil here. You don't have to use as much but 
I like the flavor of the oil. It kind of um, makes it taste better. Not that it doesn't taste good. Uh, I like the bitter. I like bitter um, greens. So that's why I like arugula and so forth. So then I have the lemon juice of a half a lemon that I'm going to put in there. Now taste it. Make sure that uh, you have enough salt in there, uh, enough lemon juice. You know the olive oil is good. Look at that. You can dip your bread in there too. Make it. I save the juice. I might not be able to save all the juice, but I'll save uh, a lot of the juice and then drink it. Um, it's good. It's a little bitter, but if you like that, then you're golden. Thank you for watching Yota's Kitchen and her Horta recipe. Um, thank you very much. Have a great day.